Did you commit to another CPA review course that just isn't aligned with how you learn? Well, spilled milk, baby. In the world of accounting, only one figure matters, and that's the bottom line. So by investing in Universal CPA Review, you're investing in yourself, and we promise to do everything in our power to get you the ROI that you're looking for by obtaining your CPA license. We know that purchasing a CPA review course is an investment, and we also know that spending all that money on a program that hasn't worked out sucks, and we want to soften that blow. Our Spilled Milk program will allow you to commit to Universal's Visual Learning CPA Review program at a steep discount. So reach out to info at universalcpareview.com to learn more about our program and what discounts you qualify for. Okay, so the next LIFO method that we're going to need to consider will be dollar value LIFO. And as far as the exam goes, this is one of those alternative inventory valuation methods that tends to trip candidates up. Okay, but if we get this mastered, we will be ready to rock when it comes to the inventory topic of the FAR exam. Alrighty, so once we get this nailed down, all of the other inventory methods are going to seem a whole lot easier. All right, so when it comes to dollar value LIFO, we got to pay attention to our mental map. We can't disregard this method because it has been known to show up and give people fits come exam day. Okay, so let's dive into it. What is dollar value LIFO and why do we even care? So dollar value LIFO values inventory while considering inflation. Okay, so inflation is a real thing, believe it or not. If we purchase inventory at the beginning of the year and inflation increases during that year, how will that impact the ending inventory value? So we have two inventory costs to consider. We have to consider inventory at current year cost and inventory at base year cost. So what's the difference between the two? Well, current year cost is what you see. In other words, this is valuing inventory while considering the impact to inflation. Well, current year cost is valuing inventory as we normally would. And how you normally would, would be while considering the inflationary impact. Okay, so in other words, this is the value of inventory while considering inflation. Whereas valuing inventory at the base year cost would intuitively be just the opposite. Okay, so when you see inventory valued at the base year cost, you're thinking inventory valued without considering inflation. Okay, so this is what we really need to focus our attention on, because making this determination will require the extra math. We're essentially backing out this inflation. Okay, so when it comes to dollar value LIFO, there are two amounts that they can ask you to calculate. They can ask you to calculate the dollar value LIFO inventory layer, or they can ask you to calculate that ending inventory balance while considering dollar value LIFO. Okay, so both of those are going to be steps three and four in our mental map. Okay, so now snowballing off of that and diving into our mental map itself. We're going to do our best to simplify this by putting together this four-step approach. And the first step is going to come with two different possibilities. So firing up our initial calculation with two possibilities, because it's going to depend on the way the question is asked. Okay, so because we either need to first determine the ending inventory at the base year, in other words, the ending inventory while not considering inflation, or you must first determine the price index amount. And the price index amount is what is used to allow the company to determine the increase in their inventory without considering inflation. Okay, so step one, like I said, we have two options here. If they don't give you the price index, what that means is they'll generally give you the ending inventory at base year. Okay, so we need to make that determination. All right, so if we are determining the price index, we need to take the ending inventory at current year cost, right, the ending inventory while considering inflation, and we're going to divide that by the ending inventory at base year cost, which is the ending inventory without considering inflation. Okay, but what if they do give you the price index? Well, then that means that we can use it to determine the beginning inventory at base year cost. Okay, so now in step two, we must determine the increase without inflation. All right, so in other words, the increase from beginning inventory at base year to reach the ending inventory at base year. All right, so we're going to take the ending inventory at base year and reduce it by the beginning inventory at base year, and that difference again is going to be what we will consider to be the increase. Okay, so this increase that we have now determined in step two is going to be important for step three, which will be one of the two questions that they can ask us. That is determining the dollar value LIFO inventory layer. 
Okay, so we're going to take that base year increase, which again is going to be considering inventory without inflation, and we're going to multiply it by that price index that we have now determined in step one. Right, we've either determined it or they've given it to us. Okay, so our beginning inventory balance for dollar value LIFO is going to be the base year amount. And now we're going to increase it by that dollar value LIFO inventory layer that we have determined in step three to determine step four, which is our ending dollar value LIFO inventory balance. Right, again, this is one of the two questions that they can ask. Okay, so three key terms to keep in mind. We're going to focus primarily on the inventory at the base year, right? The whole idea of dollar value LIFO is to calculate our inventory without considering the impact to inflation. Okay, so we're bringing it back down pre-inflationary impact. That's what we are using when determining steps one and step two, which we must remember is different from inventory at current year cost, right? For the purposes of this exam, all inventory at current year cost is is used for facilitating key information related to what is needed for calculating the base year information. Right, we only really need it for determining this ending inventory at base year cost or for determining the price index. Okay, because it is the base year layer that we're applying to the price index for calculating the dollar value LIFO inventory layer, not the current year layer. All right, so let's run through an example so that we can really put this mental map into application and see how we can use it to get these questions right on the exam. So dollar value LIFO is very commonly seen in the form of a multiple choice question. So this is all about reading through a question and determining the key buzzwords and understanding how they apply to this calculation. Okay, so we got Boobaloo Inc. once again. They changed their method for valuing inventory to dollar value LIFO at the beginning of the year to account for changes in pricing. Okay, so due to inflation, prices increased by 20% in the current year. Boobaloo's inventory was valued at 100000 at the end of last year, and using current costs, 132000 at the end of the current year. Okay, so we're calculating both step three and step four. We want to know Boobaloo's dollar value LIFO inventory layer, as well as their dollar value LIFO ending inventory balance. Okay, so we're going to apply this by going through our mental map. But I also want you to use this chart and see these highlighted cells as how these steps will be applied when calculating our steps three and step four. So step one, again, is determining the ending inventory at base year cost. Okay, so this is not given to us, but we do have the price index. We know that price is increased by 20%. So that means we could take our end of the year current year cost, which is 132000 and divide it by the 1.2, right, our price index. So that's going to give us $110,000. Okay, so again, super important that you fixate your attention on the base year. So we do know our beginning balance for inventory while using the base year cost. Right, it tells us that Boobaloo's inventory was valued at $100,000 at the end of last year. Right, we're not specifying that this is the current year cost. So that's going to tell us that this is the base year cost. And it's at the end of last year, which tells us that it is also the beginning balance for this year. Okay, so circling back to the base year. We know that we now have our ending balance, which is 110000 We also have our beginning balance of 100000 So now we can determine step two. So that's our increase without inflation. Right, our base year cost increase. So the difference between the two is just $10,000. So now we can determine step three, which is question number one. Okay, so we can now determine the dollar value LIFO inventory layer. All right, we're bringing back our price index, 1.2. Okay, so 1.2 multiplied by our base year layer that we just calculated in step two is going to give us $12,000. 10,000 times 1.2 is 12,000. Right, so we've scooted over to the dollar value LIFO calculation now, and our beginning balance is always going to be that base year cost beginning balance. Okay, so the base year cost beginning balance was 100,000. We now know our dollar value LIFO layer of 12,000, 
which will allow us to calculate the ending inventory balance while using dollar value LIFO. Okay, so 100,000 plus 12,000 gives us a $112,000 ending balance. Alrighty, so something to note after step four, we have our new dollar value LIFO inventory. So now if we were to calculate this for the following year, we would go ahead and repeat steps one, two, three, and four. But no matter what, we're going to need an ending inventory amount for the current year and the base year or the price index. Okay, so we won't spin your wheels too much for the sake of this lecture, right? We don't want to overly confuse you, but keep in mind again that if you were to see this for the second year, we're just applying the same steps. Okay, so nothing crazy going on here.